Hi there. This video is a dive into construction for the wing sections of my LEGO model, Interference. It's a companion to the build overview, cockpit, and prong videos I've already published. In due course, I'll have a parts list and model file available at galacticplastics.com. All right, let's do the base of the uh, wing extension section. Uh, and that starts with uh, this, uh, this component. So a bunch of plates uh, that are uh, brackets off the side. Uh, this is ultimately going to be in the bottom of the ship, uh, so uh, just some fun shaping. And then an area here, uh, this is the star, the um, uh, port side, uh, where it will then connect into the mainframe uh, down below here. Okay. Uh, and then this little bit with the uh, hinge and the brick is going to uh, carry the top of the wing section later. Okay. Uh, into this uh, is this fun uh, series of brackets. Uh, yellow and black, uh, and the, and then down below, uh, there's just some crazy stuff happening with the um, uh, off. <laughs> there's just some crazy things happening with the geometry and the offset for this uh, that required the those wing sections to be effectively off by a, a one. That they're um, they're jumped, so they're in the middle of the stud, uh, and then there's some plate offset to it. And so that this was the this was a, the best way to, to get that. And so this whole section here uh, is going to come into this channel, into this, into the uh, 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 basically jumped, so uh, half brick off, like this. Okay. Uh, we can add in uh, this uh, little section, which is going uh, some brackets and a plate with uh, brick with side studs. And then an extension. Later, this is going to carry the front, the kind of chamfered front of that wing, uh, and this will connect in here. Next unit is this one, uh, and so some uh, headlight bricks to the back, uh, brackets, various types. Uh, here, <laughs> okay, studs going out this way, uh, studs going this way, studs going that way. And this whole unit uh, will come in uh, here on the back, um, uh, up underneath. So let me, um, or should, oops, okay, up underneath. Like this. Nice and strong. Okay. Uh, then this front section, and you can, you can see the uh, the studs are uh, jumped relative to one another. Uh, it's going to be held in this, it, uh, and this has a channel inside of it later that is going to carry the bottom of a wing set of the um, uh, the underside wing connection. And uh, this will come in on and give strength like this. And so this whole unit uh, is getting stronger and stronger. Uh, one last thing to do is to give it a bit of a uh, crosswise brace. And so this is a kind of lock uh, that will sit along the top. Like that. Okay, so then into this unit, we're going to build out the fin in the back, the kind of tail. Uh, and so that starts with uh, this. And you can see the way I've, I've uh, projected upwards, uh, the blue that's going to be the outside of that. Uh, there's a bunch of crazy things happening with brackets and uh, headlight bricks. And it's here to get the right fit. Uh, I don't want to tear that all open. Um, but I will add in, uh, but I did take out the slope just to show how this went. So that uh, uh, you can see down below projected out and then uh, using getting a stud reversal uh, headlight brick uh, to... Um, uh, hinge brick, and this will then come in along the top. All right, like so, and then there's last little unit here uh, with a bunch of uh, slopes, and this will connect in down below. Okay. And so then to connect up that tail fin, uh, it will come up into this unit. I realized when I built this, uh, I had this bracket in the wrong spot. So I'll rotate this out 90 degrees. So 
uh, and then this uh, all of the open back of these headlights will connect up in okay which gives us this now we need to build the unit which is going to go to the front uh, edge of this and that starts with this little assembly uh, the dark blue tiles uh, some striped white underneath uh, some fun stuff uh, here in uh, steel. Run. And uh, up underneath this will come uh, this unit, stacked bunch of plates, and uh, this uh, this whole unit is jumped, so when it connects up in, uh, it's going to be off by a half stud. And so that will start with uh, just into this plate for now. Oh, and then this jumper into the back of, of uh, this headlight. Okay, nice. Uh, and then the remaining front edge of that is uh, this subassembly. Uh, I got the double jumper here, running along the back of just a little series of slopes and, uh, and a wedge. And this is going to connect in uh, into the back of the double jumper, uh, as well as um, this bracket uh, up into uh, these um, uh, the back of that plate and the, those two plates. Okay, so that's the f this front unit, and then that entire front unit then will uh, connect up in here. When I do that. Uh, this bottom bit with the tile uh, is going to ride in the channel of uh, this panel. Nice. Okay, so it looks like this. And then one last thing to do on this sub this sub assembly uh, is this is a cap at the end. So uh, this little unit. Uh, and this will come in up the edge. And we do that, we get this nice uh, dark blue uh, cutting through here, uh, and uh, as well as the cheese slope hitting the edge of that tail. Okay, so this is the kind of uh, wing assembly. Okay. And again, two of these. All right, so I'm going to show now the uh, the top of the wing section that's coming over, and the, the starting unit for this is I didn't want to tear it all the way up. It's pretty complex, so uh, we've got uh, maybe looking at studs up this way. So plates, then uh, there are some brackets projected off of this uh, around to the back, and the um, you can see the uh, uh, dark azure brackets brackets are then heading into these uh, plates with side stud. And that is going to allow us to get a stud reversal uh, when we work across the top. I've got one here already uh, where this other uh, one by two to two by two brackets sitting off the back. And the uh, and that just it, it's off by a half plate here. Uh, but this whole this section here is connected in and this is giving us the uh, later. This is going to be projecting in the right place uh, for the back angle of this top wing sit on top. So um, it looks kind of messy, and then uh, for now, and then oh, and then over on this side. So uh, this is one of those uh, half plate offsets uh, to get the perfect 45 degree angle, uh, and you can see how I've done this here with using uh, just the magic of these one by one uh, brackets. This is the easiest version to do this. So uh, simple uh, one by eight tile bracket, uh, and this will come in uh, on top. I think it's going like this. And then uh, once I've done that, then you can get a better look. The, like these studs are going two different directions along this, this half plate um, channel in the back. Up on top, uh, so this is just a one by four plate, um, a grill tile, and a uh, two by two, I guess two by two is that a jumper? <laughs> two by two tile with a stud in the middle. so and then flipping back around 
this is going to have a uh, this is this now gives me a purchase to be able to connect in these um, panels. Okay. The next unit uh, looks like this from the top. And I didn't want to tear this one all the way open. Um, it's complex uh, from below. Uh, but what's happening is uh, that the there are two different in, two intersecting units uh, that the uh, where the this one and this one are floating and connect. They're, well, they're connected to one another uh, and then latched into the back. And uh, they're off by half plate. And so in order to do that, I use some magic of the. There's a stud reversal here and then an old style uh, plate with clip light, uh, which is a beautiful old part. Uh, and then that gave me the uh, uh, the geometry to ha have us all connected up. This on the top. And uh, this then uh, will connect in on this bracket. Back. I can cinch this up along the top uh, using this uh, plate uh, with some cheese. So this will lock it all, lock that whole section together. Uh, and then that leaves uh, this uh, area at the back, uh, which for which we're going to fill this in. Um, so cheese, plates, uh, and then bricks with side stud um, uh, here uh, connected in to give us a a uh, to, uh, uh, to go from the basically the three plate deep to two and a half plate deep to half plate deep filler. And this unit then uh, comes along the top. And goes into that channel. Goes into this channel, and from below, then should be able to rotate this around and connect it up like this. All right. Okay. So that's the bottom. Uh, looks kind of messy. Uh, but from the top, uh, this is a nice, elegant uh, unit. Um, and I think it could sit over the top of the wing. And so then to this, uh, we'll put in the uh, two units uh, that we made for the this base of the side wing section. Like so. Like so from underneath. And to start with, that's going to connect in here and uh, here. And then uh, there's going to be a nice brace uh, across the top. And uh, the mechanic for this, I uh, just have to nudge it around those uh, crane fr frame elements. And then here from this side, things a little bit of finesse just to get that around. And uh, awesome. Okay, so it's looking like this now, and uh, you can see from the uh, the side. Here on the starboard side. So uh, the f uh, the bit of the uh, crane, f this uh, frame comes in underneath, and then this portion is intersecting in with the the, uh, uh, the valence right up underneath the top. And there was a little clip area here uh, that are sort of opposed uh, to just fit uh, very nicely. Then for strength, uh, because we have a lot, there's a lot now hanging off of the sides here. This area here is going to get a brace, and so uh, this is 12 long, and we'll just come in on top, like so. From above, and then from below, a little more complicated, uh, and that's going to be connecting in on this stud.
side, and then the other side. Okay. Hey. 